am Sean Kent Hayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers, and this little girl is Birdie. Today, we are kicking off a new series, a new playlist called How to Socialize and Train Your New Puppy from 8 to 16 Weeks Old. Birdie is 8 weeks old. We will be training her here in our puppy prep school program until she's 16 weeks old when she will be hand delivered to her new family in Seattle, Washington. So you'll get to watch along step by step what we do with her and her brother Toffee. And then we'll show you, we'll break it down for you so that you can apply this to your own puppy. If you have an eight week old, a nine week old puppy, come along with us on this adventure, follow our playlist. We'll do this day by day so that you can raise a beloved family pet just like we are doing with this little girl. There are a couple of things you're going to need in terms of um, tools, if you will, that will help you to play along with us with your puppy. One of them is I'd like you to get an airline type carrier. This enables you to take your puppy when you are going on socialization outings. So you'll be able to take your puppy in the car, to the vet, using this. And when we socialize puppies, we begin by helping them learn to be comfortable in here and I will let the puppies play with this carrier so they just get comfortable in it. The other thing I'm going to suggest that you get is a very small collar, tiny collar. Yesterday when um, Graziella showed up to get Brady, she had a very, very big collar and a retractable leash. That doesn't work. These little puppies are so small, you can't uh, do that. And I never, ever, ever recommend a retractable leash. But here you go. Here's what we'll do. So we just put the collar on, and you'll notice that she, your puppy, might begin scratching a little bit when the collar is on. So you're going to need a collar and a leash like this, super lightweight. And then I also recommend one of these training beds. We use the Coolaroo brand of training bed, and I will link below in the show more section, I'll link these things that I'm recommending for you. But these are the things that we're going to start with in our series, and I'll show you step by step how to do them and how to use them. Another thing you're going to need is a bag of treats. In other words, a bag of rewards, and I'll show you how to use these to lure your puppy. We use the kibble that's right in the bowls. So this is the Purina Pro Plan salmon, and we mix it with a better smelling, really good smelling salmon treat. And we will put that right between our fingers like this and use it to lure. I'll show you what lure looks like here in just a second. But in terms of things you're going to need, some treats that you can attach to your belt loops like so and then you will be able to have this with you when you move about your home so that you can reward your puppy when you catch them doing something right you want to set your puppy up for success you want them to feel great about themselves when they do something right say yes and give them one of these little pieces of kibble part of socializing a puppy is having them meet new people and having them work with different people. So while all of my dogs get the opportunity to work with me every day, I also have folks on my team like Mira. Mira is a high school student who comes in after school and helps me with the puppies. And so I'm teaching Mira how to teach the puppies. And Mira's been working here now for a little while. But what I'm going to show you, what we're going to show you is first how you lure the puppy up onto the training bed and then what happens once the puppy gets up onto the training bed. So Mira, will you go ahead and demo that? And along the way, I may make some suggestions to Mira about how she's using her hands and what she's doing. So we're luring by putting the treat in front. Yes, places. Yes, places. Yes, Great. Yes, 
And now Birdie has been doing this for a little while. Birdie's gotten quite good at this. So she yes, knows the sit. first thing that we're doing is sit. Yes, sit. And we'll just give Birdie the jackpot here several times as if she's staying seated, then she gets little. Yes. Sit. This is the same kibble, by the way, that's in her bowl. But um, she, she gets that if she's staying seated. Now, if she puts her paw up on you, I don't want you to give her a treat. So now what Mira is doing is Mira is luring her into a down yes, position. Sit. So Mira's going to lure her into a down now. Yes, down. And um, Birdie's been doing this now for a couple of weeks, so she yes, knows. Down. Notice we're not saying the word down and then expecting the puppy to go down. We're luring the puppy into yes, the down, down. position. Yes, down. And then once she's lured into the down position, then we say yes, down. Eventually, she will learn the word, and then we will be able to say the word. But when we're first teaching a puppy, we want the puppy to be so excited about what they are learning. And so we have to set them up for success. We have to make it super fun for them. So the first thing I recommend that you do is you'll, you'll start by luring your own puppy up onto the training bed. Yes, down. And then you're just going to go very slowly. I'm going to show you some other video where Birdie yes, was sit. doing this previously. I'll share that in this playlist as well so you can see some past work that we've done with Birdie. But Birdie was exposed to this training bed when she was six weeks old. She's eight weeks old now, so she's she's very comfortable here. Yes, spin. Yes, spin. All right, and the other day we started working on watch me with her, Mira. So okay. Mira, do you remember how to do watch me? Yes. All right. So Mira's going to put the... Uh, Birdie has not been scratching at all today, but with that collar on, she starts scratching because the collar is new. So we let her do her little scratch, and this is going to be true with your puppy too. When you first put a watch collar me. on, yes. So Mira me. is taking the treat, and yes, she's taking me. it from Birdie's nose up watch to Mira's me. eyes, up to your nose. Watch me. Right up to your nose, and as soon as she has eye contact, then you're saying yes, yes, watch, yes, me. watch me. Yes, watch me. Now I'm, I'm really wanting to em emphasize to you: the first thing you're going to do is start with sit. And that may be enough for your dog. We didn't um, start off with all of this yes, at once. Sit. So you start with sit. Once your dog has mastered watch. sit, then you move to down. Watch me. Yes, watch me. Yes, watch me. And it's really funny when puppies are first yes, learning, watch. they'll start to do the routine themselves. They'll get on the bed, watch they'll me. sit, and then they'll down, and then they'll yes, spin. Watch. All right, so this is really great for what you need to set as your expectation for yourself yes. in your first week or so working with your puppy. But we're going to show you every day training. We're going to show you how Birdie is evolving and what you can do to train your puppy as well. Please put your questions and comments below. We love when you share with us. Next, I'm going to show you yes, another you. aspect of socializing your puppy. And Mira knows another part of socializing puppies is taking them out and creating little adventures. So I'm going to show you some adventures where we're taking the puppies out so that they can meet new people and interact in new environments. Here we go. So in the spirit of socializing our little eight week old Schnauzer puppies, I brought Toffee with me to the bank today and Toffee's getting the opportunity to meet the folks in the bank. This is just a great way of helping him uh, be exposed to lots of new people and sounds and all kinds of things. So thank you so much for letting me bring Toffee in today. I always love coming to TD Bank. You guys are great. And after all the activity of the day, it's also really helpful to just have quiet, relaxed time with your puppy. So when we talk about socializing and training your puppy, creating time for your puppy to just lay next to you, have a toy in his mouth, you just pet him, just relax time. Maybe get your comb out, comb him, making it comfortable for your puppy to be relaxed.
And then also, puppies need time to sleep. Little eight-week-old puppies sleep a lot. And it's okay for you to leave your little puppy in his playpen sleeping alone for portions of the day. In fact, I would say it's actually really good for you to do that. Let your little puppy get comfortable being in his bed, being in a space where he's got what he needs very easily. So he's got his potty pads, he's got his food set up, he's got toys to play with, but sometimes he just needs to take a nap and that's okay. Go do something else and let your puppy relax.